Welcome to lesson 2, differentiation. Uh, last time we went through the rules of differentiation, the three rules, I hope you remember them, and I hope you remember how to differentiate or get the derivative of, of a polynomial. Today we are going to look at how you get the equation of the tangent and the norm to a curve. Uh, just to remind you, a tangent to a curve is a line that touches the curve at only one point. So if this point is x is equal to 2, the tangent at x is equal to 2 is here. It is this line. So this is known as tangent. Tangent of that curve at that particular point. A normal is a line which is perpendicular to the tangent at that point. So if you draw a line which is perpendicular to the tangent at the same point x is equal to 2, this is the one we call a normal. From your knowledge on the equations of a straight line, you know that for perpendicular lines, the product of the gradient m1 m2 is equal to negative 1. So if you are able to know the equation or the gradient of the tangent, you can get its equation. If you are able to know the gradient of the tangent, you can also know the gradient of the norm using this relationship. And for that reason, you can get the equation of that norm again. Uh, let's take an example that we had in the previous lesson. 5 the equation of the tangent and the norm to the curve y is equal to x squared plus 2 and x is equal to 2. The first thing we are going to do is to get the gradient function or the derivative. The gradient function will give us the gradient of the tangent. And from the gradient of the tangent, we can get the gradient of the norm. So let's get dy by dx. So differentiate this using the rule that we went through in the previous lesson, dy over dx here will be equal to 2x. This is a gradient function, or it is a gradient equation. It is the equation that will give you the gradient for that curve. At any point on this curve, the equation of the of the or, or the, the, the gradient equation is 2x. So all you have to do is to substitute the value of x at the given point. In this case, we are given x is equal to 2. So at x is equal to 2, the gradient of the tangent, dy of dx is equal to, you substitute it here, 2 times 2, and you get the answer as 4. Then we go ahead and get the equation of the tangent. The tangent. So the gradient of the tangent, m1, is 4. And it passes through the point where x is equal to 2. So if x is equal to 2, we need the value for y, the y coordinate. So we are going to substitute x is equal to 2 here in the original equation and we will get 4 plus 2 which is 6. So our point through which or we are talking about uh, the, the, the point through which the tangent passes is 2 6. So we have m is equal to 4 the gradient and the point is 2 6. You can use the method of getting the general point that is okay any general point 
Then the gradient is given by change in y, so y minus 6 over change in x, so x minus 2, equate that to 4. Cross multiply, you will get y minus 6 is equal to, y is 2, it is equal to 4x minus 8. You can bring this minus 6 to the other side. And so you will get y is equal to 4x minus 2. When you take this minus 6 to the other side, it becomes plus. So minus 8 plus 6 is minus 2. So this is the equation of the tangent to the curve y is equal to x squared plus 2 at x is equal to 2. Let's go ahead and get the equation of the normal. When we are getting the equation of the normal, we don't need to differentiate again because we have already differentiated. So all we have to do is to get M2. And you remember M1 times M2 is equal to negative 1. Our M1 is 4. And so M2 is equal to negative 1 quarter. The point is still the same to 6. So we get a general point x, y. So that we are able to get the equation. Change y, y minus 6 over changing x, x minus 2 is equal to now m2, negative 1 or 4. We cross multiply and we get 4y minus 24 is equal to minus x plus 2. We can take this to the other side, uh, minus 24 to the other side, and you will get 4y is equal to minus x plus 26. You can leave the equation like that, like that, it's still okay. Uh, if you want to go ahead, you can put it in, in form of y is equal to mx plus c. So you need to divide by 4 throughout. It will be y is equal to negative x over 4 plus 26 over 4. That is y is equal to mx plus c. So that is how you get the equation of the tangent and the equation of the normal. I hope you can follow that same example and find the time to get the equation of the tangent and the normal for this curve. Find the equation of the tangent and the normal to the curve y is equal to x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 3 at x is equal to 0. So follow the same procedure and find the gradient of both, I mean find the equation of both the tangent and the normal to this curve at x is equal was two, zero. Thank you very much. We will do more practice. Practice with your, with your, with your, with your, with your friends who are around you. Uh, do more questions. And then if there's any question, you can post it here for another forum. We will continue. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of the day.